Okay, hi everyone. So today let's uh, discuss one interesting problem. So it says a metal sphere of uh, radius 1 mm and mass 50 milligram uh, falls vertically in glycerin. Find the viscous force exerted by the glycerin on the sphere when the speed of the sphere is 1 cm per second. Fine. So is tarah se hamare paas ek uh, metal sphere hai. Radius is given that is 1 mm and iska mass given hai that is 50 milligram and ye glycerin mein move karta hai vertically downward let's say with a speed v that is given 1 cm per second at this particular instant we have to find out the value of viscous force exerted by the glycerin on this metal sphere so viscous force lagega is metal sphere pe by the glycerin to oppose the relative motion of the metal sphere viscous force ka direction kya hoga opposite to the direction of motion of the sphere it means upward direction mein lagega viscous force and iska magnitude hoga 6 pi neta v r you just have to put the values 6 pi into neta that is coefficient of viscosity that is given you can see that is 8 pi so you have to convert it to si unit si unit mein convert karne ke liye hume ise 10 se divide karna hoga that means deca pi ana jo deca pi aayega that will be in si unit so इसे 10 से डिवाइड करेंगे, so it will be 0.8 into speed that is 1 सेंटीमीटर पर सेकंड, so it will be 0.01 मीटर पर सेकंड into radius that is 10 raised to the power minus 3. So you can solve this value, it will be around 1.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 न्यूटन, right? So ये आप सॉल्व कर सकते हैं। B चेक करते हैं, the hydrostatic force exerted by the glycerin on the sphere. So hydrostatic force is nothing but uh, buoyancy force. Buoyancy force ka jo magnitude hoga that will be uh, volume of displaced liquid into density of the liquid into G. Anna? That is the weight of the displaced liquid. So kitna volume displaced hua hai that is the volume of the metal sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube into density of glycerin uh, density of glycerin into G. So just put the values. इस तरह से देखो 4 by 3 into pi that will be 3.14 into r cube that is 10 raised to the power minus 3 its cube into density of glycerin this value is given uh, 1260 so this will be 1260 you can see uh, the value of uh, density of glycerin is given here okay into g so this will be 10 so this value you can find out yourself just calculate करना है so it will be around 5.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 newton right c check karte find uh, the terminal velocity with which the sphere will move down without acceleration okay so terminal velocity means this uh, metal sphere will be moving downward with a ter with a, with a terminal velocity it means acceleration of this metal sphere will be zero. Let's draw the free body diagram of this metal sphere. So, kitne forces lagenge? Ek to iska weight lagega vertically downward, ek buoyancy force lagega and ek viscous force lagega. Acceleration zero, it means net force is zero. It means buoyancy, uh, viscous force plus buoyancy force will be equal to its weight. Now, viscous force will be 6 pi neta into V terminal, right? terminal velocity se move karega so vt into 6 pi neta v into r right plus a uh, buoyancy force is ka value we have already calculated this one 5.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 that is equal to mg mass is 50 milligram right into g so yaha se aap dekho let's put the values uh, 6 into 3.14 into neta that is 0 0.8 into V terminal into R that is 10 raised to the power minus 3 plus 5.2 एक काम करते हैं इसे उस तरफ ले जाते हैं so it will be 50 so ये हो गया 0 0.5 minus uh, 0 0.5 आ रहा है क्या ये 50 milligram है ना 50 milligram है so it will be 50 into 10 raise to the power minus 3 gram so 10 raise to the power minus 6 kilogram aapko SI unit mein values put karni hai so 50 milligram that is equal to 50 into 10 raise to the power minus 6 kilogram so that's why yaha pe 50 into 10 raise to the power minus 6 aega 
so it will be 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 minus 5.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 divided by this value ये जो values हैं इसे हम divide में भेज देते हैं 10 raised to the power minus 3 0 0.8 right uh, 3.14 and 6 so this is the value of terminal speed so I think you have understood let me know if you still have any confusion numerical value you can find out yourself okay guys keep working hard best of luck bye